Hello developers, my name is Ayat Bashir and today in this video we will create a project, we will develop a project that's ASP32 based mini weather station, it's IoT based mini weather station. So here we use three parameters like humidity, temperature and rain in our weather station. So for this we need a microcontroller that's ESP32 even if you have Arduino, uh, sorry if you have Node MC or ESP32 you can use both. One DST element, temperature and humidity sensor, rain sensor, okay, and some jumper wires. So, using the IoT, Arduino IoT cloud, we will create our cloud account and we will send data from the sensors over cloud. So, I have already uploaded the video how we create Arduino IoT cloud account. So, just check that video. So, let's start the video. So now we have all these equipments. Now we will need some jumper wires like this, and and here's our rain sensor, and also DAT sensor. First of all, you can see here is a pins like S plus and minus. S is signal uh, plus and minus. So similarly, you can see here in this sensor here VCC data and ground pin. Okay. So now we connect these wires to our ESP32 model. Here you can see here, uh, wires also. Uh, sorry, here's the pins also. G4, G1, G5, G17, G19. So first of all, we connect uh, this DST11 sensor and connect VCC. VCC, I mean uh, that means the plus 5 volt. We will connect VCC to the VIN of this 5 volt of this ESP32. Here we can see the 5 volt. If you have another ESP, there will be little VIN. You can also use VIN pin as a VCC pin. So connect it to this. Okay. After that, uh, the second pin is data pin. This black one is data pin. And we will connect it to the pin number G2. Okay. Here I am connected to the pin number G2. And after that, we have one other pin that is a ground pin. Minus here you can see that's the, so we connect this ground to the ground of the ESP. So here is a ground. You can see here is a ground pin. Sorry, I don't know right now the breadboard. Otherwise, I will show you on this breadboard. But unfortunately, I forget to bring a breadboard with me. So sorry for that. So now uh, our DHD is successfully connected to our ESP32. Now we will connect this range sensor. So, so here ground minus is also ground and plus we can connect the plus here you can see. So we we will connect the S pin to the pin number 34 of the ESP32. Okay, and then we will connect and then we will connect the uh plus to the 3.3 volt and minus to the ground okay now we will, I will connect this so this blue pin is uh signal pin to do we connect it to the pin number g34 you can see here g34 and now i will connect the uh, 3 volt vcc plus one to the 3 volt you can see here's a plus we connect to the 3 volt of the esp32 that's a green pin connect the three point and now i will connect the ground to the ground of this esp3 as you can see the ground pin so i will connect to the ground of the esp32 so our connection diagram is ready here so now what we do we have to upload the code and we will upload the code using arduino iot cloud so if you uh, don't know how to create arduino iot cloud then check my videos i have already uploaded how to create a cloud in iot arduino cloud so now we will write the code and upload the code then i will show you how we fetch the data from our Arduino IoT cloud and how we'll create this weather monitoring system. Okay. The cloud we have to visit the website Arduino. Arduino IoT cloud. Okay. Then you have to click on here on the first uh, website Arduino IoT cloud. And then get started for free. So I have already uploaded the video regarding how we create an Arduino IoT cloud. Uh, so just watch this video and if you then you will understand how we create account in this now here i will uh, log in with google i have already created my account so now i will log in with google so after that so uh, just do it later and then we have to create a thing here okay now i will create here a create new or you can go here on things okay so if you go i will just click on the things then create a thing here okay so now i'm going to create a thing first so after that uh, we will name our thing so wait a while the internal connection is slow so here 
we just set up a cloud variable first after that we will attach a device and then we will configure our internet so first of all i will cloud add here three variables so that's one for humidity one for temperature and one for rain first of click here on the add button now click here humidity so uh, first of all i will create a variable this tmp temperature temp then choose a variable you can use float floating point number then add variable okay after that we will create another variable click add is it temp temperature after that cloud variable here a floating floating point and then temperature already we have to create a humidity sorry h u humidity okay now uh, float humidity and add variable now another we have to add a another variable that's for rain okay so i will create here rain so another variable select variable so right uh, that time i will choose integer okay after that add variable and then we have create here three variables okay now we will associate a device we will add a device and after that we will upload the code here i will click on the select device okay now my device is sp2 but i will skip it i will show you how to set up a new device click here on the setup new device and if you have uh, esp32 or esp 6 click here on th uh, third party devices so i'm uh, using third party device just esp32 and then select a model my model is do it so if you are using w room 32 esp32 then use do it dev kit version 1 okay click here then go on continue then choose your device name that's w room 32 okay i will just remove this after that click on the next and then you have to do one thing here you have to copy this secret key you have to download pdf also and click copy the secret key i will copy the secret key and download the pdf and then click on here i see you my device id and secret key and then click on the continue and uh, the setup is done after that we have to configure our network so in order to get values from the internet we have to connect our uh, esp32 to the internet through wi-fi so we will configure here our internet so first of all write here the hotspot name that you have in your mobile hotspot for example my hotspot name is iphone and my password my uh, hotspot password is one two three four five six seven eight okay and then you have to paste the security that you have already copied then control v click here and copy that secret key here okay after that click on the save now our everything is configured now we have to write the code here so i will upload the code uh, if i write the code here then it will take too much time so i will show you how to upload the code if you need the code i will provide the code after that you can upload same code okay so now here i will go to the secrets and you can see here is my code so you can see here everything is here my float humidity uh, flow temperature and entry in here so now i will write the code it will take time i will pause that time and after that i will upload the code if you need the code just to comment below i will provide the code so here is my code so i just uh, use the dst pin there's a pin number two of our uh, dst element sensor so i already show that uh, i connected my dst to pin number two and my run sensor to the pin number 34 after that uh, I, here i can here i am calling the library i'm including the library that's hash and dot h i'm including the library of the dst okay after that uh, if here the rain, the initial value of the range is zero and then you can see here i just uh, i will show you the code that dst dot begin that means our sensor will begin here after that after that in while loop uh, the flow temperature that dht is a temperature that it reads the temperature okay and float humidity that's uh, it will read the humidity from the library that's dht that we include okay after that you can see here, uh, then we see if this temperature the, our temperature variable and humidity to our humidity variable. i will provide the code and you can upload this code uh, to your uh, ESP32 and it will work. So after that, we have to connect the ESP32 and upload the code. So I will connect my ESP32 and after I will upload the code. So right now uh, you can see here right now there is a no device connected. You can see here there is a no device connected across. And when we can when I connect the ESP32 and you will see here I will connect my ESP32 to it. So just connecting my ESP32. so my esp32 is connected here
so esp32 is connected now here you can see now we will upload the code to our device then we will upload the code click here and it will first verify the code and then it will upload the code it may take some time so if you found this video useful uh, then do subscribe my youtube channel tag there and then follow my facebook page tag there for more videos like that 45 percent 64 percent codes uploading here so 97 and 100 percent codes successfully uploaded so now we have to do one thing we have to click here and then go to the dashboard here click on the dashboard and then we have to set up our dashboard with our variables so stay touch with me and i will now create a dashboard here click on the untitled that's uh, our thing you can rename it as per your need so first of all i will click here and then now i will add here click on add visualization and click on the gauge here then we have to link variable we have to rename here first of all we will name it here uh, first one is temperature okay so we redeem here temperature after that we sorry just after that we will uh, add a variable that is a temperature variable to it so you have to we first of all we have to choose the thing is so our thing was w room 32 that we have already created this one is the last one okay now we can click here on this and then click on the temperature here okay then link variable okay just we just rename it sorry so now click here on the done okay after that we will add another variable uh, another uh, gauge here click on the add then the visualizations and click another gauge for our humidity and we will just write uh, write it here humidity humidity okay after that we will link a variable that's our double room 32 and here humidity okay then click on the link variable and then click on done here after that we will add third here and there's a third guy for our rain okay visualizations then go to the gauge here and then link variable so i will write here on rain okay link variable and then we will link or rain here and link variable then done so now we can click here and then click on again here on the dashboard and after that click on here untitled it so now you can see here our cloud will be updated and here you can show the temperature right now my temperature is uh, 10.3 uh, room temperature humidity is 70 and you can see rain is zero so here if i put some you can see if i put some water on this sensor so i will put some water here so you can see there's a value if i so i put more water here and this value will increase also okay so with the help of this we will create our arduino iot cloud based uh, weather monitoring system here's a temperature 10.119 uh, and uh, 70 is a humidity okay so thanks for watching this video we will see in next video